Well, when it rains, it pours. Thelma and I are here at the vet in Bastrop. Fortunately, they were able to get us in right away. Unfortunately, Thelma has um, Harvo, which really fucking sucks. Um, they're gonna keep her for a week. Fingers crossed that she survives this. She has had her shots, I don't know, I'm not sure how it happened, but um, now I gotta run home and get Louise and bring her in to be tested. And smaller note, cancel my trip to Galveston. That's okay. Um, but anyway, scary times. Everybody, send Thelma your good juju, please. 2020, you're driving me nuts. First of all, I wanna say, I um, invest in yourself, people, you know, self-care. I just got this, um, I, I did it, I treated myself. I got the iPhone 12 Max Pro and I didn't do it just to be bougie, although maybe there's a little bougie in there. <clears throat> I have decided, big announcement, dun, 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 drum roll. Um, I was gonna write a book, I was supposed to be writing the book. I should have half the book done by now. and. Um, I've just been trying to sort it out so many ways, make it a cookbook memoir, make it there. I had all kinds of ideas and I think they were all worthy ideas. Um, but I just, it came to me that I am going to instead, um, do a little documentary and, um, that's all I'm going to tell you right now regarding the camera and the book. Thank you for those of you who ordered advanced copies of the book. I'm either going to refund you or do a special screening or whatever. But anyway, um, so I got this new camera and I, I did, I wanted to try it out today. I did a little shot, a little bit of footage of um, walking the dogs and you can see Norris's hair just blowing in the wind. Amazing. He's totally like Fabio. Um, and then I came home and uh, I got two elopements here today and some time in between and so i'm going to do some baking and i have to say like i feel so sad right now i'm so overwhelmed with grief i am it's i've been through a lot of grief i mean we all have we're human beings uh but um when it comes again wow it's just like you know it's like the maxell commercial it's so intense all hail john Byrne. um anyway um, I feel lucky that I have some baking I have to do because I'm trying to get the Thanksgiving menu ready to go and I need to shoot some um, photos. I need to make the food and shoot it and then post it. Um, and so I went through the recipes. I've, I grabbed a few new recipes to play with and try. Um, here's a little spoiler alert. I'm gonna try to do um, a bread pudding, very English, although Jewish English is what it's gonna be because I'm gonna do this test round with challah. And, um, and I'm gonna make a cranberry orange curd tart, which sounds out of control. And um, I decided too, I was gonna do some of my Murphy Mumum's rice pudding. Murphy Mumum, she was my hero. My mom's mom had a very, very hard life. She was orphaned. Um, she worked during the depression. She got married when she was 16. She had seven kids. One of them died. She had a wicked stepmother. She had it all. And she, she had a really, good attitude despite it all. And despite being on a limited budget, she would always have some treat for us, always something, you know, just like a little bag of pretzels and marshmallows or jello or um, her rice pudding. And I had this, I'm so glad I didn't get rid of this over the years. Is this a lovely dress? Look at this. I wanna say I dress for you all, but <clears throat> it's for the wedding. Anyway, let me get my glasses here. Um, so this folder, I'm so glad I've moved so many times in my life. I've gotten rid of so many things but I still have this. And this folder, let me back up and say, for years when I did paper receipts for my taxes, I would shove them in an envelope or a file, and I would also tuck in their concert tickets and postcards and stuff from throughout the year. And I can't remember who told me that was so dumb, like that's a waste of time, you gotta get through those to get to your receipts when it's tax time. And I was like, no, that's the fun part. I hated doing my taxes. I have a great accountant and I just hated even prepping for him. So um, what would happen is I'd go through and I'd find a receipt for, um, you know, some concert, some concert, concert ticket or for some groceries for a dinner party I had or whatever. 
And it would just flash me back to a happy time, happier than doing taxes. And then I was thinking about that today, like, so my memory, which is so accurate and intense that it's um, interesting and fun and helps me as a writer. And it can also be really painful to live with because um, I bad memories can come up so fast, like being in a movie. So today, though, I'm not here to whine about that. I'm not really a whiner. I'm just trying to understand my mind. But I the same effect, fortunately for me, happens when I when I when I see something that um, brought me joy. So in this folder, in addition to being recipes from all dating back 40 or more years, there's also stuff like the top thing on top, a poem for skinny by Henry and Spike Gillespie. And that was from 20 years ago when Henry's pet guinea pig skinny died. We wrote a poem and we lit some candles. Um, this West African peanut soup written on the back of a piece of um, wrapping paper from my friend Phil, may he rest in peace. And like, it just goes on and on. Biscotti, I'm pretty sure I got this when I was visiting my friend Lara when she was staying at a ranch. Um, so it's like, it's not just that I remember the food, but also where I was when I got the recipes, not all of them. Like, I don't know where I got Ethel sugar cookies from. Um, but baking, like, it just brings me so much joy. And I don't think I'm gonna be really joyful today, but I'm definitely, um, it's going to help. I know it. Okay. So this is sour cream pound cake. This was, I used to actually make wedding cakes. Can you believe that? Always the officiant or the cake maker, never the bride. <laughs> I was the bride twice, two times too many. Um, so anyway, well, I'm trying to find this one sheet of paper. It might be over there somewhere. And it is a diagram of a wedding cake I made. Um, and then I have like, I just put weird notes in here. Of course, when I was looking through this, it was all coming to my head like poetry and now I can't remember. Cheesecakes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make, um, well, long story about the cheesecakes. I'll tell that in detail in another video. Let's see, come on Spike, you can do it. Oh like, okay, so this is kind of meta. Here's a letter from my accountant and to me and instead of it being in my tax file, it's in my recipe file. And it says, um, uh, well, anyway, he usually says something very funny about my accounting. You know, I'm very good with math and I'm not bad with money, but I just, I have no interest in, at all. Do you have any interest in um, doing your own numbers? I hire people for that. Okay, the Wesley, Wellesley, Wesley, whatever, fudge cake. That's what I made for Henry every year for his birthday. I did a variation of it. I still can't find this image of a wedding cake, so I'll just have to find it another day and show you. But I guess my question today is this. Um, what do you do? Do you have some surefire thing that you can do that even if it doesn't make you feel totally happy, maybe it, it, it just kind of snaps you out of it a little bit or takes you away or, um, yeah, I'm just not not finding it, dang it. Um, and do you, does your concentration get wrecked by grief? How does grief show up in your life? This is for white trash lobster bisque, okay? I'm pretty sure that's not a politically correct um, recipe. I think the wedding guests are here. I'm gonna just look one more spot for this. Oh, I think I know where it is. I think I got it. Okay, all right, hang on one second. I think I got it. This cookbook, okay, this is my secret weapon, the New York Times cookbook by Craig Claiborne. And I think I'm good, I think I got it, I think I got it. Oh, I found it, okay, look at this. I actually made this wedding cake for one of my sisters. Yeah, really. Like I always say, I would have been a great wife. <laughs> um, thanks, ongoing thanks for all your love and support. I really appreciate all the notes and stuff that y'all are sending. I'm just gonna go bake my ass off. Um, I hope that you're having a good weekend and um, I hope you'll raise one in memory of John Byrne. Mr. Byrne, take it easy, y'all. Louise, are you are you happy? How do you feel that we have Thelma back? Thelma, can you stop looking yourself and say hi to the people? Look, everybody, Thelma is back. Oh, she didn't really want to look at everybody. She feels shy. Yay, Thelma lives. Yay! Luis is like, I don't know about this. I got you to myself for a few days. 
She was growling a little bit, but we're so happy. We're so happy. Yay, Thelma, Thelma. I guess she's just looking, licking where her IV was. Look, Thelma. Well, that was an ordeal. Thanks for all the good wishes. It worked. Yay. Yay. <sighs> Hey y'all, thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this episode, I hope that you'll copy this link, share it with a friend, paint it on a wall, put it on your social media. That'd be great. Thanks a million. Take it easy.